Maddox getting a standing ovation at her first curtain call as Roxy Hart. And after rocking the nation on Vanderpump Rules, she is now crushing Broadway. And we are so excited to catch up with her now. Welcome back. Hi, thanks Hi. for having me. Good to see you. <laughs> Have things calmed down at all or just gotten more and more crazy? Um, calm down a little bit. Um, but yeah, now we're in eight shows a week, so. I know, so not really. But the, <laughs> when you were here last time, it was the day after Dancing with the Stars. You just announced that you were going to be doing Chicago. And now the run has been extended till April. So I have to say, I have to assume that it's going pretty well. Yeah, it's been going great. And I, I love it. It's the best. Yeah, and I mean, this show, Chicago is the longest running American musical on Broadway, 27 years, but you broke a record recently as the highest grossing non-holiday week, which is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think that you're bringing to this show that people are reacting to? I think what's so cool about this role is that every person that plays it or someone who comes in and plays someone like Mama or any one of these parts is that... The way that the dialogue is written, you really flavor that with your own personality yeah. and your own vibe. And so I don't know what it is. I'm just bringing myself. And I think that it's so fun for the cast as well, just to have new takes new on energy things all too. the time. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, Roxy has so many iconic, amazing moments. Do you have a favorite moment in the show? Yeah, I actually really love the courtroom scene. That's because a great it's one, yeah. all that fun timing and the sounds and the it, it's so funny. It, it, it's my favorite. Yeah. And I mean, this show was written in 1975. And when you think about that, even if you're watching the show or if you've been a long time, it doesn't feel like it was written in 1975 mm -hmm. or it's still pretty relevant today. So, you know, what can you relate to with Roxy, do you think? Oh, my gosh. Well, so many things. I mean, first of all, I love the fact that, you know, she is so resilient and she's always thinking on her feet. From the first scene to the last, she's always thinking of how can I get out of this or what can I do next? And I always think about, too, some of it is so funny and you know she's very easily could be like a full villain yeah but when you think about you know there's something about her that you still root for I know. you know and yeah. there's something even still at the end of the show and you know it's all gone and she's she's really almost you know you think she might not come back from this I always think to myself well you know she's a woman in the 20s yeah. so without some sort of publicity or show what is she going to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. So let's talk about Vanderpump Rules. Yeah. Speaking of having a show, um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of your friends came to support you. Did you like knowing beforehand when they were coming? or? Uh, yeah, well, that's something I learned about myself during Dancing with the Stars is that I thought it would make me super nervous to know yeah. when people were coming, but it actually makes me really excited, and it kind of just gives me like a little bit of an extra boost when I'm performing. Yeah, I mean... Speaking of Vanderpump Rules, does it feel like you're living like two separate lives? Because the show is on right now. You filmed it a long time ago. You're doing this eight shows a week on Broadway right now. Does it feel like two different lives? Yeah, it feels like a time capsule yeah. in a way. And it's something, too, that I think what is great about our show and every person that's on it is that no matter what they're going through in their lives, we all show it. We all let it all out. And so it's, for me, personally, this time capsule of instead of coming out and just being like hi I'm on Broadway and everything's great and here's the healed <laughs> version of myself yeah. you're really gonna you're getting that whole process yeah. on the show and so it's a very vulnerable time in my life and a very tough time in my life and it exists for all the world to see you know <laughs> and I feel like it's gonna help you move on quicker than if you weren't almost forced to deal with it yeah, publicly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so let's talk about your drinks from home, uh, which I feel like is the perfect accompaniment to watching Vanderpump Rules. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, what's the latest on the business? Uh, we have new products. We have three new boxes, and we have some really cute merch. I my the happy hour is my therapy sweater is my favorite thing to wear. <laughs> and yes, it's the perfect thing for while you're watching Vanderpump Rules because I feel like when you're watching Vanderpump, you need a cocktail. You are in it. With them. Yes. <laughs> with you all. All right, well, you can see Ariana in Chicago, the musical, now through April 7th. Visit chicagothemusical.com for more. And Vanderpump Rules, Tuesday at 8 p.m., streaming the next day on Peacock. Ariana, thank you so much. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you.